A lot of blackbirds. They love it here. Ah, maybe a rail. Some kind of rail screeching. Demure marsh bird. periodically flooded Ford structure. Not quite dry. With an accompanying high road boardwalk. And some other thing further in maybe for what horses? Who knows? Wooded swamp. Meat Marsh. trail up the desiccated remnants of some deceased amphibian. <coughs> and lots of dragonflies. This is the blackbird. Conqueree. Off you go. This is the spot where I think I saw a cuckoo years ago. We're right on the Concord. Shortly after the Astabed and Sudbury created. And you can see the floodplain zone right in front of me. It got pretty wet over the course of this year. Lots of poison ivy. Thank heavens there's lots of jewelry too. Look at the new weird sort of synthetic bench thingy. In memory of Mark J. Feehan. Used to like to sit here. And we have educational item on the attempts to handle purple loose strife. Looks like they're doing an okay job. Okay, onward. This stretch is basically just 
stretch is basically just long and straight. And this is where I came from. And there we have the vast expanse of the great meadows in all its glory. Some kind of marsh bird. James Joyce. Bam. There's another charming little seat. This one dedicated to right next to a big old silver maple. Oh, this comes to us courtesy of Friends of the Great Meadows. Let's see. Startled the heron over there. Too slow to catch it in flight, though. Flailing Canada's. Better than a lawn, I suppose. Lunch. Now we're coming to the causeway across the middle of the system. And with that, we'll get to go to the cool old observation tower. Oh, look. Yet another. Charming little bench. And who provided this one? It's in memory of Sally Kitross. Enjoy. Well, thank you, Sally. There's the, uh, the other pond. And the whole vast system, you can see Punkatasset up there. Good point for a panorama. 